Hey, howdy, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Spooky Month, so I wanna talk about something spooky. Deep sea fish. They're weird, like really weird. When you live in the deep dark depths of the ocean with no light and quite literally tons of pressure, you gotta figure something out in order to find food and also not be found by predators. It's a weird line to toe, but a lot of different species do it and they all do it differently. There is so much diversity in their ecology, their behavior, even the way that they look. So let's walk or swim through three different examples of deep sea fish that are solving the problems of the darkness in different yet equally absurd ways. First up is the fang tooth. I'm sure you will be shocked to discover that this fish has fangs for teeth. Wow! While that alone may not be super interesting, it's more the size of these fangs that make this fish really weird. Like most deep sea fish, the fang tooth isn't very big, only about six inches long. But those teeth are huge, making them the largest teeth in proportion to body size in the entire ocean. And because of how huge those teeth are, surely they can't close their mouths properly, right? Wrong! They can, but they've got a very special adaptation to do so. They've got these pouches in their head so that their teeth don't puncture their brain when they close their mouths all the way. Evolution really made and solved a problem all in one fish. But having the biggest teeth in the sea is not their only superlative. Though they usually spend their time between 1,600 and 6,500 feet deep in the ocean, they have been found as deep as 16,404 feet, making them one of the deepest living fish on the planet. They're really taking deep sea to an entirely new level. I'm impressed. Next, we have the barrel eye fish. And this fish, to me, isn't necessarily as creepy as it is confusing. The barrel eye fish is also not very big, getting to be up to six inches long. It's got a normal fish shape, mostly. Tail fin, pectoral fins, mouth, eyes. That last one is where we lose all sense of normalcy. You see those big green orbs? Those are its eyes. And while I know this, I still look at the fish and think that the nares are its eyes at the front of its face. And that's simply not true. <laughs> it just really throws me off, man. But let's talk about why on literal earth the eyes look like that. Those orbs, also known as tubular eyes, totally tubular, are incredibly specialized. They're super light sensitive in order to pick up on any and every tiny little morsel of light they can find down there. They're pointed upwards to try and find silhouettes of prey items against those tiny little morsels of light. Don't worry, they can rotate them forwards as well, and that part I do find unsettling. And they're encased inside that transparent dome of a forehead, probably to protect these essential and very special eyes from anything that might damage them. Dang bro, I thought my forehead was big. <laughs> now it's super convenient that their eyes are protected because where they find their food is a place that has stinging cells. That's right, this fish eats crustaceans that are trapped inside the tentacles of siphonophores. Siphonophores are a type of gelatinous organism that live in these huge clonal colonies that also have stinging cells, kind of like sea jellies. And the barrel eye fish has a tiny mouth and huge fins to maneuver with precision in order to get food out of those dangerous tentacles. The life of this fish seems less than cozy and convenient, but it seems that they've really got their eyes on the prize, am I right? <laughs> I'm so sorry, please don't unfollow me. And last, but certainly not least, we have the black swallower. Okay, so the name alone sounds like something that would haunt you after you played with a Ouija board. So I don't love that. <laughs> Thankfully, it's at least mildly less terrifying than that. But it is also a descriptive name, and you will see why. Okay, let's start off with the fact that it's only like a 10 inch long fish. That already makes me feel a bit better. They also live between 3,000 and 10,000 feet deep in the ocean. So if you're afraid of encountering one, that's not really something you need to worry about. But taking a look at this fish, you will notice that it has a giant pouch on its belly. Unlike marsupials, the purpose of this pouch is not to house adorable babies as they grow. No, instead it is used to house other weird looking deep sea fish that have met their demise at the hands, or I guess mouth, of the black swallower. Allow me to explain. This fish opens its mouth incredibly wide and gulps down food whole. And it's not just filling its stomach with tiny little bite-sized prey. They've been known to swallow things much, much, much larger than they are. Like up to four times its length and up to 10 times its own mass. The black swallower is the epitome of biting off more than you can chew. Okay, so maybe the fact that this fish is 10 inches long isn't really helping anymore. This fish is ruthless. And I for one am thrilled to not live in the deep sea. <laughs> As you can see, deep sea fish are creepy, but that's what makes them so cool. Having to survive one of the harshest environments on the entire planet is definitely going to produce some weird adaptations and some scary looking animals. But think about how amazing it is to live in a time where we can learn what those adaptations are and why these fish look the way that they do. Studying fish that live thousands of feet beneath the surface of the ocean is incredibly hard to do. So it's amazing that we know as much as we do about these animals. Look, while seeing these critters makes me understand why people have thalassophobia, it kind of just makes me more excited to be a scientist. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite deep sea fish is, or if one of the three that I mentioned is your new favorite deep sea fish. Thank you for learning with me today, and I can't wait to learn with you more later. And as always, have a great day, and stay sharky, my friends.